with this piece, it started because I just love plants. And I, I have a big garden, I have lots of flowers, we have a big vegetable garden. And from the time that I was even a teenager, I had 75 plants in my bedroom. So I, I really like plants, that's all there is to it. And I love corals. And I've never had the opportunity to, to actually scuba dive, that's on my bucket list. But I love looking at the pictures of them. I love the colors and the textures and all of that. And so I wanted to combine the, my favorite types of plants and animals like this, this type of thing together in a piece that, that was jarring. I was searching for something that was jarring. And so I made the edges of it beautiful colors like they would be if it were in the ocean. And the center is like the, the, the plants were bleached. It was like they were going away. And I have pitcher plants and, and agave plants in my garden and I just love them. And so I was able to photograph them myself and make them into the piece. And then the coral, I kind of made it up and I tried to imagine the colors that it would be, make it even more bright and more beautiful. And <clears throat> we're destroying our plants and our animals. It's because of us. And I think that that's something that, that we have to face. You know, it's very easy to say it's global warming, but we need to say we're doing it. It's humans who are doing it. and. And that's why I didn't want to go back to what it used to be. I wanted to talk about, visually talk about what it is right now. And that's why I made the center bleached and the edges in, in the bright colors of what it used to be. But the majority of the piece is what we're looking forward to in our future. 